Back down, everyone. This is Erin Riley Carrasco, live on Jane Unchained. I hope everyone's hanging in there. I think this is week four of our quarantine. I hope you are all doing well. I thought I'd make a really happy dish today, a happy, healthy vegan dish. We are gonna be making, this looks so complicated and the picture doesn't do it justice, but it's an angel berry trifle. And it is, it, it's so impressive. Family gatherings, parties, everyone loves this. Let's get going. So, uh, last night I made my angel food cake. <laughs> this is what it turned out like. Um, you can use like a trifle pan, which basically has the hollow in the um, middle or a small bundt cake, but it doesn't matter how it looks because you are going to be cutting it into little squares like this. And the best thing about this trifle recipe which you can get one of these trifle dishes bed bath and beyond is closed now i'm sure you can get at walmart anywhere i have i was given this as a gift like 20 years ago and i use it all the time i'm also going to be a, sharing a recipe in a couple weeks for um my friend Lori buckman's recipe it's called god is good layer trifle cake in here all sorts of things you can make and the dish it just it's such a beautiful visual with all the vibrant uh, colors, especially with the fruit we're going to be putting in today. So um, a real a side note about the uh, angel food cake, because you really I don't I don't think I've ever been to a store where I can find a vegan angel food cake. Um, the ingredients that you need for angel food cake, uh, chickpea flour, all purpose flour, vanilla extract and sugar, which is all basic. Um, cream of tartar, which is a white powder just like this. And if you can't find it in the seasoning section, you can find it in the bulk section. And then aquafaba, which I'm sure if you're already vegan, you've heard of that. It substitutes for egg whites. It's a binder, but it's really hard also to find aquafaba. But the best thing about aquafaba is you can find it in your can of garbanzo beans. And so if you're going to create aquafaba, which I'm going to show you really quickly how to create it, make sure you get your beans with no salt. Um, I usually buy my, you know, organic garbanzo beans at Trader Joe's. And you can see here it says made with sea salt, but you want to get the no salt garbanzo beans. And you basically take the liquid from the beans, which looks like this. This is just a little demonstration because this is how I made the cake earlier. And you take a blender and you whip it for three to five minutes. And see if this, if I left enough, because I did the finished version, I didn't want this to be too loud. But do you see how that's basically just like a real egg yolk? But of course, as vegans eating plant-based, we don't use eggs. So aquafaba found right in your can of garbanzo beans. I didn't want to stand here and be whipping for five minutes. So this is what the substance looks like. And again, it's just a nice foamy binder that acts as egg whites. And that's going to give you that fluffy consistency for your light angel food cake. You can also use white cake. You can make white cake, sponge cake, lemon cake if you like lemon. I personally love the fluffiness and the lightness of angel food cake. Um, and I will post the quick and easy recipe for vegan angel food cake mm. along with this recipe, which you can always find on janeandchain.com. And for those of you just joining us, again, we are making quick and easy, incredible angel berry truffle. Do we have any questions so far? Who's with us today? Uh, Kim Wagner, Tom Vansel. Hi, everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope Natalie, you're all hanging in there. Lori. Miss Natalie. Hey, Natalie, when this quarantine is over, you're going to have to come on and make, I know you've got about 20 of these vegan truffle uh, recipes. It's so hard because I have so many amazing friends with delicious recipes, but I can't invite anyone on my show right now. And uh, yeah, Natalie made this for her husband's birthday last week. Uh, he is a first responder. She sent me a picture and his entire, I believe, fire department just gobbled it down. 
uh, <laughs> vegan, absolutely delicious. Thank you, Joey Bean, for your service. Thank you to all the first responders out there. So if that fire department gobbled it down, you're going to be gobbling this down. Um, all right, we just have, look at this array of fresh food. And again, you cannot go wrong with this uh, trifle. You can use different fruit. You can even add sliced bananas. I chose fresh strawberries, which of course, right down the street, Williamson strawberries. I have raspberries. I have blackberries and blueberries. And the first thing we're going to do is... We're gonna mix them all in a bowl. And is this just not scream out spring dessert to you? Gosh, I made um, a vegan strawberry shortcake. Was it last week, Alan? And I've been <laughs> thinking about it ever since. Look at, I pulled out, I made these little vegan cups and was that on Easter I made that for Easter. dessert? Easter. Mm -hmm. We just poured the fresh strawberries and the vegan whipped cream. Last and, Sunday. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So because I've been thinking about that, that's been my taste bud uh, lately is for that strawberry shortcake in the spring. I just love fruit and I love whipped cream and custard. I, I, I like sweets. So why you're mixing up your fruit, and some recipes will tell you to add a little bit of granulated sugar, uh, which I did do for my strawberry shortcake, but when you mix it all together, what that does, um, where's my granulated sugar, is if you put a little bit of sugar in here, it just makes it a little moister, just a tiny, just like a tiny bit. So you're like, why are you adding sugar to that fruit? It's already delicious and you don't have to, but I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator while I am basically assembling this beautiful trifle. All right, and I'm taking out my vegan whipped cream and the brand that I got. Again, you can make your vegan whipped cream very easy recipes online. Uh, I use True Whip. Just make sure, I believe this company makes three different colors or four different colors, and this is the green one. You wanna make sure it says vegan because I've made the mistake in the past for just seeing True Whip and reaching for it and getting it home. And again, I always read the back, even though I think, okay, True Whip, it's vegan. It had milk in it, even though it said True Whip. This is the only vegan, it's the green tub. Has anyone tried this brand? It's absolutely delicious. Tom. Tom, you tried True Whip? I'm telling it's so good. All right, lots of ways to build our trifle, but I'm going to start with my angel food cake that I made. Again, you can make it in a, a bunt pan. You can meet in a, one of those little round cake pans, and we're just going to start layering. And you can get so creative with this beautiful glass dish. Any questions? Oh, it smells so light and fluffy and good. All right, that's our first layer. Next, one tub of vegan whipped cream, and you're gonna combine it with just one small vanilla jello, vegan by nature. And we are going to, which I didn't bring out, because I wanted it cold. You can also get creative with this. Um, I think their traditional trifle recipe calls for just straight vegan yogurt, almond yogurt, but I thought I, I would get creative and form colors. So I've got my absolute favorite. I think I eat these every day. Trader Joe's Organic Creamy Cashew Yogurt. This is amazing with granola, especially peanut butter granola. <laughs> and I also have Kite Hill Blueberry. So I'm gonna probably be making a little bit extra today, but I thought it would be fun to use those colors. All right, so this is gonna be a nice, let's see what it, it turns out to be because I've only ever used the almond, almond plain vanilla yogurt before. So this should give it a nice, pretty lavender. Oh, look at that, it just disappears. It doesn't even give it a color. Well, there goes my creative plan. <laughs> Strawberry on the container. 
but when you mix the strawberry, it's basically you're just getting the flavoring. That's okay. Maybe the blueberry will give us a little hint of lavender. Yeah, well, I'm making what I've always made, just with the, the good old vanilla color. And we're going to add this as our next layer, as even as you can get it. Again, it's not scientific. You don't need to be perfect. And what we're wanting to achieve is when you're building this on the outside, it's just gonna create a lovely visual of colors. Actually, I'm gonna use more than I normally do with this one. Questions, it's awful quiet. Everyone, mm. angel berry truffle today. Uh, everybody's saying how delicious it looks. Yeah, and it's smelling absolutely yeah. delicious. And it's... Um, Has anyone ever made one of these before? Anyone? Did you just sneak in and get some of my custard whipped cream? Yes. I saw that finger it go It is there. good. It's very good. It's sweet. What happened to all my spoons? I think they're all in the dishwasher. Okay, now we're just going to put in our triple berries. Again, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. Natalie's made this dish before. Is Natalie still watching? Is Miss Natalie still there? Lori Nash is there. Lori, have you ever made this? Who's made this? I want people, come on, I want feedback. Because look at, I'm just she again, says this is. Yes, yes. Yes. And isn't it, you know, it's very impressive when you walk into a party and you have this, but it's. This is just an assembly, you know, it doesn't take hours. The cake last night was very easy to make. Okay, let's see how my next, I am missing. Okay, so again, we just used, here it is. This is the tub I need. One tub mixed with the yogurt, vanilla, and the Trader Joe's strawberry cashew yogurt. What I'm really hoping that this, do you love when I go live and I've never tried this before? <laughs> I've only done the colors. I was like, oh, I'm really going to go out there and I'm going to make colorful custard. And again, vegan whipped cream. Easy to make, but easier to buy. Saturday snack down. All about quick and easy recipes. So what do you think? Are we going to take bets? Is this color going to disappear too? What color? Okay, <laughs> what's probably... The ratio is a little bit off. And it's already a little quiet out there, but can you turn the camera around to our dog, Rocky? I mean, he's... Come on. Really, dude? <laughs> come on, Rocky, aren't you interested in this dish? Wake up, Rocky. Come on, it's Saturday snack down. You want a treat? Huh? All right. <laughs> All right. He knows his food's coming. Okay, he so just... again, this was... <laughs> Am I that boring? Like, really? Like, uh, that's my audience. So again, this is the Kite Hill Blueberry. Now, it's got the, the nice lavender tone there. Let's see if it disappears like the strawberry did. And I'm probably going to have excess of this filling, but it's okay because look at how much extra fruit I bought. Did that on purpose so we could have tomorrow, too. Yummy. All right, so another packet of vanilla jello yogurt. Whenever I hear the word jello, I think gelatin, but this does not have gelatin in it. And you don't want to ever buy anything that has gelatin in it. Jo uh, you know, Tom says that he thinks it's going to turn blue. Really? Who else? Who thinks this is going to turn purple or blue? My other one was a big uh -uh, fail. I don't know, Tom. I don't know. Let's drum see. Roll. Drum roll. Well, it's holding better than the strawberry. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Who can explain that to me? Does that mean that those uh, vegan yogurts are just so healthy that it probably don't use any food dyes? So I was hoping that they would keep their color, but look at that. It starts off blueberry, starts off lavender, and it 
But you know what? It's going to have a different flavor. It's going to have the strawberry flavor here, and it will have the blueberry flavor in the second one. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so there goes our next layer. And again, that is our vegan whipped cream with the Kite Hill blueberry yogurt and one box of vanilla pudding. Zero calories in this too, you guys. Zero sugar and zero calories. Who has ever tried uh, the garbanzo bean juice to make aquafaba? Anyone out there that's watching? Mm. Did you know that trick before I, I just showed you? I had no idea. No idea? So yeah, aquafaba is basically the garbanzo bean juice. Couldn't even pronounce it. Who can't pronounce it? <laughs> You can't pronounce it? Aquafaba. Aquafaba. Is that like a, um, a cologne for <laughs> men? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. That was our strawberry. No, strawberry first, blueberry. More of our angel food cake. Pile it on there. And perfect amount. You want to do two layers of the angel food cake. Now I've got a little bit more of my strawberry, which you couldn't tell that it's a strawberry flavor for the top. And then I set aside a bowl of the vegan whipped cream for the very top too. Yum, yum, yummy. Questions, anyone? <laughs> are they? Are <laughs> everyone? Tom says say that Aquafama is actually um, not an aftershave. <laughs> what, what was the one you were trying to think of, Alan? I don't know that cologne. Was that a cologne of like the seventies? Must have been. That our parents used to wear. Right. All right, and we're gonna take the last of our delicious fruit here. Okay, this is where you can be creative. I'm gonna try to be creative with the four minutes I have left. Okay, that's bothering me because that is, you know, it's getting in my, my visual here of this beautiful trifle. Berry, berry delicious angel trifle. Now, Oh, and this array. Once in a while, you'll see a bad little berry and you just toss it out. A bad little a berry. A bad little berry. That one was squished. All right, now, based on this picture, I'm gonna set this picture right here. What I did earlier is I just took the biggest strawberries I could find and I cut them in half. Let me show you what I did to make this, this shape, whoops, for my berries. All right, because I'm gonna try to form a beautiful flower on the top. Well, that doesn't look, okay, so I just took one strawberry, just cut off the top, and then you cut it in half, and then you just cut down slices like that, and it gives you that pretty, kind of a rectangular form, triangular, not rectangular, triangular, and we're gonna start the flower from the outside. You know what, I wonder if I should put, okay, hold on, I'm gonna put one more layer of just the whipped cream. Right in the so middle. we've got, yep, right in the middle. That way you'll be able to see my work of art at the top. Alan's laughing at me, why are you laughing at me? Your art. I, my, my work of art, my masterpiece. All right, there we go. Wow. Now, okay, are you with me? Are you still with me out there? I think you need some more whipped cream. No, <laughs> look at we're right at the top. This is perfect. Now, I just showed you how to make those little triangular designs with the strawberries, and we're going to start from the outside. Do this as quickly as I can. What do you think? It's almost going to be like a giant rose and you're just gonna layer it. One more petal on here. 
Okay, I've never done this design. So when I'm doing this live, I'm doing it for the first time myself. All right. We're just gonna. Such an artist. Uh, I mean, right? Look at this. How easy is this? You walk into a party with this dessert? Yeah. All right, is it coming together, everyone? I'm trying to form a beautiful flower. Looking good, almost done. Layer, layer, layer. And I have enough to make one more layer on the outside. Make a gorgeous, big flower on the top. Can you tell I have fun cooking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or am I the only one that's like really enjoying this? Everyone, I'm like, come on, Aaron. <laughs> Hurry finish, up. Finish Get this finish. Flower. Finish that trifle. <laughs> All right. That is really pretty. Okay, what should I put on the inside? I decided to put, just bought a little bit of, where did it go? Mint. And this is good and can double later for, I don't know if you guys have ever made a nice cream with frozen bananas. I did it about a year and a half ago. Maybe I can do it again, but chocolate chip mint banana and ice cream is delicious. So that's where the rest of this mint is gonna go later. But just a couple mint leaves right in the center. And I put aside a raspberry. Betty Ann and Tom are calling blueberry. I know, and you know what? I threw that naughty little blue, oh, I have more blueberries over here. I think you're right. Let's see. Couple blueberries and maybe one raspberry in the middle. Schnozberry. Sh here we go. Oh, I don't know, maybe just one. Look at that. What do you think? Ta-da! Isn't that delicious? Isn't that gorgeous? It's a beautiful visual. I feel like that um, scene in Bridesmaids where she's trying to talk her friends out of that $800 dress and she's like, this dress can flow and you can kick and you know that scene? <laughs> I love that movie. Okay, there it is, friends. Simple, easy, vegan, very, very trifle. Please, I've been getting feedback all week from the uh, episode one and two of the Everything Vegan Eggs. So thank you for sending me messages. You guys have been making it and I love to see each of your creations. And if you make this, I would love to hear, hear about it because it's so good. It actually tastes better than it looks and I think that's pretty hard. But what have we learned today? Two things. We've learned <laughs> that even if you try to be creative and get different colors, blueberry vegan yogurt and strawberry vegan yogurt do not hold their colors. Note to self. All right. Thanks for joining me, everyone, on Saturday Snackdown. Have a beautiful weekend. Very, very angel trifle. Stay safe. I'll see you next Saturday. Bye-bye.